we've, we've already been told what the questions are. You know, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he taught that when a person is laid in the, in the ground, in the grave, as the people are walking away, two angels will come to the person, every single person, and will make the person sit up and will ask three questions. All mankind is going to be asked this question. Who is your Lord? What is the way of life which you chose? How did you live your life? And lastly, who is this man which I sent amongst you? If a person, they answer that my Lord is Allah, the one true God. If a person answers the way of life I chose is Islam. Islam means submission. It's not named after a prophet or a messenger. It's not named after a people. It's not named after a country. The name is submission to the will of God. If a person answers that the way of life I chose is, is Islam, and then when we're shown this person, we say, this is the Prophet Muhammad, the son of Abdullah, the last messenger sent to all mankind, the black, the white, the educated, the uneducated, every single person from that time until the last person. If we answer those questions, then a person will be successful. If a person didn't live that life and they're unable to answer that question, their wealth, their money will not help them. Their family will not help them. Their friends will not help them. That's why it's, it's very important. In this life, you know, we are busy with family, we're busy with friends, we're busy with paying bills, we're busy with work, which is normal. But we have to make time for who is Allah? What am I here for? How does that sound? That and, is what I do. Okay, so I, I, you know, I was Muslim I, or? Yes. I don't have any religion. Okay. I believe something. Yeah. But I don't go to church. Okay. Catholic, they talk whatever they want to talk. Uh, Christians, uh -huh. oh, everybody has Sorry. something to say. <laughs> yes. And sometimes I, I don't understand why one religion talks one way, another talks another way, another say, oh, that one is not good, this one is not good. I think day by day I need to do good. Yes. God will give me good. Okay. But can I ask a simple question? If God is one, how many ways do you think he gave to mankind? How many? How many ways do you think he gave to mankind? Do you think he gave multiple ways or one way? One way, the good way. Yes. But that is people. Uh -huh. If you don't want to go that way, you can go that way. Yes. Everybody can choose the way they want to go. Uh -huh. But there's only one way. Yes. See, the thing is, when we say the good way, people understand which is good. Uh, helping the poor, helping our neighbors, telling the truth, being honest, all this is good. You know, looking after our children, looking after our parents, all this is good. You know, uh, being polite, all this is good. And this is, all mankind knows this, that this is good. Some people follow, some people don't. But the thing is, also God, he sent messengers. Allah, he sent messengers. If, if for example, a person is following the way of Moses, when Moses was sent, and then Jesus comes, and he says, no, the person says, no, I'm not going to follow you, I'm only going to follow Moses. We would say this person, not only has he rejected Jesus, but he's actually rejected the one who sent Jesus. Okay, so now we, as we know that a messenger has come about 600 years after Jesus, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he has said all the things which, which I said are being good, you should do this, but at the same time, God has created us to test us. Allah mentions in Quran, the 67th chapter, that he has created, that he's created death and life in order to test us. So this is a test. And then Allah mentions in the Quran a very clear verse. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبَدُونَ I did not create a jinn, which is a separate creation, and mankind except to worship me. We have been created to 
recognize God and single him out alone in worship. So even if a person is good, this is good. But a person at the same time, they have to accept what God has brought. Now, like you said, I understand. If you speak to a Catholic or if you speak to a Christian or you speak to a Muslim, they, they may all say some things which are good. But at the same time, as God is one, the way is one. And obviously, you're standing in front of a Muslim, so I'm going to tell you Islam is true. And if you stand in front of a Christian, they will say and if you, but the thing is, you know, you're an intelligent lady. You have been given intellect. So you should be able to weigh up which is true. Like if I give you a brief example, Jesus was a righteous man, a righteous messenger, sent by God. You know, he was a, uh, a good person. But was he God? Was he God though? Like the, the God which which you believe in, did he come forth from the from the from the, from the mother? Was God a baby? Did God become hungry? Did God eat food? Did God himself worship God? We would say this is not God. Jesus is not God. Jesus is a righteous man. As a Muslim, we have to believe in him. We believe he was a worshipper of God, like Moses, like Abraham, like Noah, like Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. So even if you have a Christian who is a good person and they're doing good, we still say that person is upon disbelief because they have lied and they have rejected God by saying that God is uh, one of three, that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. This is a lie upon God. So this sin is so weighty that it can cause it, it will cause a person if they die upon this to go to the hellfire. So I understand being a good person, but at the same time you have to choose. You have to you have to look. I didn't found the one I'm gonna say okay. I feel okay. I, we know yeah. when I go to the church. Yeah. I like to go inside of church or uh, you know the one. On the other side, uh, with the, I think, white, like a white bird, the Brazilian. Okay. When I go to church or I go to those places. All, all Christian places or do you mean, you mean any place of worship? Any place I go. Yeah, of worship. When I hear yeah. the preaching, yeah. I start to cry. Okay. But all the time, uh -huh. I try, I don't know why. Okay. And my daughter, she keeps telling me, I'm taking out whatever is inside me, I'm taking out. Yeah. The only thing I don't like this is because they keep asking for money. Uh -huh. And this make me, I, I know, before they used to give like chickens and fruit, and but yeah. now with the money. Okay. But I don't like. Uh -huh. When he's preaching, and then he's like, oh, don't forget, give the money to help, da, 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 and I don't like that part. Okay. My daughter said, you need to hear uh -huh. what his words. Yeah. But because I have already things I don't like, uh -huh. so I can't pay attention that much. Uh -huh. But if I go to a proper proper, yeah. I, I have the same feeling. Uh -huh. I just... Start crying. I don't know. Because you have a soft heart. But I, I would say, Still. But when I leave, I yeah. feel like I like I, I'm with. I, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, I because feel okay. I would say some some of the message is correct when they say that God is one, when they say this life is short, when they talk about the miracles of Jesus, when they talk about the miracles of Moses, when they talk about being a good person. This, as Muslims, we we agree with. But the issue of saying that God is a Trinity, or for example, you know everyone. Even if we try to be good, we're human. We make mistakes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I may do something wrong, I may offend someone. In Islam, we are taught about the Creator, that He is Ar Rahman. Ar Rahman means the one who is the most merciful. He is Ar Rahim, He's the one who gives mercy. He is Al Wadud, the most loving. He is Al Ghafur, He's the one who forgives. So we believe that when I, for example, when I commit a sin, I turn directly to him and I say, Oh my Lord, Oh my Creator, Oh most merciful, Oh most kind, forgive me. And if I am sincere, then 
100% guaranteed I will be forgiven. But we do not believe that God had to be, or God was a uh, Trinity, and the second person of the Trinity came down as God, entered into uh, a human being created Jesus, and then had to die for the sins of all mankind. That Jesus, who they say was innocent, they say he was God and a human being, that he died on the cross. There's, there's so many problems with this. One, that God died. Two, that why should an innocent person take my sin? When God is the most merciful, he can forgive me. So, my thing, as I said, you can say, well, you would say that when you're a Muslim. Me, I, I was, I was uh, brought up as a Christian, and I became Muslim uh, many years ago now. But the thing is, a person has to look but when, the, when the, you know, the simple concept of Islam, that God is one, worship Him alone. Do not make any partners with Him. Anything which, like we don't worship uh, the angel Gabriel, we don't worship Muhammad, peace be upon him, we don't worship Jesus, we don't worship the pious, we don't worship uh, graves, we only worship God. Because He is the one who's all hearing, He is the one who's all knowing, and most importantly, He is the only one who deserves to be worshipped. Anything else is created by God. Anything else is in need of God. So this simple message, we are, we are not saying you shouldn't be a good person. We are not saying you shouldn't be a nice person. We're not saying you shouldn't help people. But in Islam, you can do that. And at the same time, you can worship your creator the way he taught. How does that sound? My first step, what you advise me? Because I have the book. Okay. And sometimes I just open and I read. Yeah, no, that's very good. That's very good. But I, I would say, you know, uh, you know, if, if you if you have in front of you a large amount of stairs, the first thing you have to do is take the first step, and then the second step. Do you believe God is one and has no partners? Yeah. Do you believe that He sent messengers? Do you believe that he sent messengers, human beings, to teach us? Yeah. Like he chose them. Not, not just, I can't make myself a messenger. You can't make yourself a messenger. But God, he chooses the best people from the most noble uh, background, with the best of characters, the most honest people, and made them a messenger. And then they went he and took... choose you today to talk with me. Yes. See? Uh, yes, 100%. <laughs> but me, I'm trying to follow a messenger, but I am not the messenger. I didn't receive revelation from God. Yeah, but you, yeah. you giving me the right words. Yes, I'm trying to uh, pass on what I was taught. Yes. So, you believe God is one, and you believe that God chose messengers. Okay, that's first step, a very big step. Then second step. Do you believe that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a messenger? That part I don't know that much. That's, that's why I, I maybe I need to read more times. No problem. No problem. I, I don't know that much. Okay. Can, but can, I'm gonna carry on reading. Can I tell you? Can I tell you a little bit about his life? I I shouldn't be here. No problem. I no have problem. My husband waiting for me. Oh, okay. No problem. Can, uh, you have you you said you have a Quran already. The, yes. Le, uh, this is. I, I won't give you the Quran, but this is some very brief uh, leaflets on Islam. What is the Quran? Uh, death and the hereafter, importance of prayer, who is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu about messengers, who is Jesus, and about the mercy of God. You are here every day? No, we're just here Saturdays. You may find other people here. Like if, if you have more questions, you can come back Saturday. Okay. Or if you can go to a mosque or ask your neighbor. I don't know. Okay. Any, I only know the big one. Uh, Whitechapel. Whitechapel. But that is for men. No, no, no. They have a woman's section at the back. A very big, it's called the Mariam Center. You know Mary, the mother of Jesus? Yes, yes. It's called the Mariam Center. The Portuguese is Maria. Uh, Maria. Because I'm from Portugal and yeah, yeah. from Fatima. Yes, yes, yes. Where they said uh, yeah, Maria yeah, yeah. comes to that tree. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. But you can come, come at any time. Yes, I will. Next Saturday, I'm going to see you here. No problem. I will. Uh, ask any questions. Yes, yes. Okay, I will try and bring something in Portuguese as well. Oh, thank you so much. No problem. Madam, thank you very much for your time. How can I say? Uh, thank you. Have Whatever nice you like. Day? Have a nice day, yes. How are you saying? Oh, we say Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. 
I, I only know Salam Aleikum. Yeah, mashallah, it's very good. You know, sorry, you know Jesus, if you read in the Bible, it says when he entered the upper room, he said to the disciples, peace be upon you. Same words, because Jesus was a Muslim. Madam, thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure. Thank you.